to Star Smith. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. Lee, are, are you, are you going to be able to do the story? <laughs> I'm going to be fine, okay? I'm a journalist. I'm a newswoman, right? Sometimes you just have to, got to power through. You know, however heartbreaking or devastating this stupid story is. Look, we can just get Joe on it, okay? Maybe. No, Elliot. I got this, okay? In a recent horrible discovery, it turns out the DNA won't last nearly long enough to ever be able to give us a Jurassic Park. Okay, okay, good, good job. Uh, uh, take a breather. Scientists in New Zealand analyzed hundreds of bones of the extinct moa and found out that the half-life of DNA is 521 years, which is a ridiculously precise number. But what that means is under ideal conditions, every last bit of DNA will be gone by 6.8 million years, and there would only be enough readable good DNA at around 1.5 million years later, assuming that the DNA was kept in a vault or dry, no-danger area. Turns out that after cell death, enzymes start to break down the bonds that form the backbone of DNA and microorganisms speed up the decay. And considering that dinosaurs lived around 65 million years ago, well, they just didn't even stand a chance. Yep, even in ideal conditions, there isn't enough genetic material to be used for cloning. Stupid f***ing physics, man. I'm not kidding when I say this, but I am pretty sure that physics is my arch nemesis. I'm pretty sure that doesn't make any sense. Look, Lee, I know you're hurting right now, but you're saying things that l you literally do not mean, all right? At least with knowing the half-life of DNA, we can know a baseline of knowing what we could or could not clone. If we know the half-life, we know that some DNA is wasting our time. Good for you, buddy, putting a positive spin on this. I mean, I know dinosaurs are out of the cloning equation, <gasps> but okay, pull it together, pull it together, breathe in, there you go. But things like a woolly mammoth whose DNA has been found frozen in permafrost could still possibly be cloned. In fact, some have said that eventually it might be possible to implant a mammoth embryo into an elephant's uterus and totally make a little baby freaking mammoth. Does that make you happy, Lee? I mean... Nope. I don't think there's anything I've ever wanted more than a Brachiosaurus. Like, ever. Okay, Lee, this is just final proof that dinosaurs and humans were never meant to coexist. That's all it is. It's not that big of a deal. What are you... Okay, all right. That's a hand. What is she doing? I'm... I am hurting right now. I am so sorry. I don't know what to... Do you... Could use one. It's like if you found out that they'd never be able to bring Joe McHale back. <laughs> Shut your mouth. So guys, are you as devastated about this news as I am? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation, or you can go to sourcefed.com to see more bloggy type news. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. You ready to, to continue with the day? Yeah, you can. can. Mm, all right. Thanks for being there, buddy. Hey, absolutely. Anytime, you know? I'm just a, an emotional pillar. You come to me anytime you have any sort of problem, you and I'll give you buddy. endless comfort and warmth. That's okay. what I do. Mm -hmm. Anytime you need anything, just let me know.